Since the discovery of her bones in 1974, scientists have long wondered what killed our most famous human ancestor, Lucy. Researchers found the skeleton sticking out of a shallow stream bed in Ethiopia. The bones have since provided new insight about life for early humans more than three million years ago. But how did Lucy end up there? We spoke with the lead University of Texas anthropologist who suggests she died after falling from a tree. It would have been a collision of about 60 kilometers per hour, which is over 35 miles an hour, bang, hitting the ground that fast. UT's John Kappelman says fractures in her bones suggest she came down feet first, tumbled forward, and stretched out her arms to break the fall. Death quickly followed. And to create this sort of damage in a bone-healthy individual, which Lucy was, and we know that from the CAT scans we've done at her, it would have been a, a high impact, a high energy traumatic event to the shoulder. Dr. Kappelman and his team reached this conclusion by scanning Lucy's skeleton using a high resolution machine. They created a digital archive of more than 35,000 slices of information. One that we're increasingly using now for the reconstruction is called Maya, and that's what's used by Pixar. So we figure if Maya is good enough for Pixar, it's good enough for us. Since only 40% of Lucy's skeleton was found, it allowed researchers to reconstruct what they could not recover. Even though no left tibia for Lucy was ever discovered, we've made a virtual left by mirroring uh, the anatomy of the right. Dr. Kappelman says the data allowed his team to understand what Lucy experienced in her final moments. She's a different species, she's not us, but to provide an emotional connection with her in her death, so that in her death, that death brought her to life. Lucy's bones are kept in a museum in Ethiopia, although they spent six years touring the U.S. from 2008 to 2013. Scientists scanned the skeleton when it made a brief stopover in Austin. Going in-depth, Lucy got her name from the Beatles song, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. The song was played at the archaeological campsite in Ethiopia the night of her discovery. There was lots of singing and dancing and drinking, so no one remembers who exactly gave the skeleton its name.